In this training module, we'll show you how to upload your drone survey data to the Propeller platform. Welcome to Propeller U. After completing your drone survey, the next step is to upload the data to the platform for processing. Your drone records all the data you've captured to a microSD card. To upload the data and transfer the files, the card needs to be connected to your computer. Typically, this is done by inserting the card into your computer's microSD card slot. If your computer doesn't have a microSD card slot, you can use an adapter. Once your computer has recognized the card, you can transfer all the media files to your computer. It's always good practice to back up all the current flights and data by saving a copy to your computer or file hosting platform. We recommend transferring all your files onto your computer prior to uploading them to the platform for processing. Next, upload it to the portal for processing. For this example, we're assuming the site has already been created in the portal. If the site where you want to upload your data hasn't been created yet, select Create a new site. For more information, check out our video titled creating a site and selecting a coordinate reference system. Or check out our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com. Go to Data Processing and click on Create a new data set. From the drop-down menu, select the site where you want to upload your data. After selecting the site, you'll be prompted to select the type of data you're submitting. Select Survey and click Next. Drag and drop the folder you imported onto the computer from the SD card. After all the files load, scroll down and make sure the file validation checks have passed. Click Next after verifying. Next, it's time to give your dataset a name. The name you give it will be how it displays in the portal. We recommend including the date and the dataset name for easy recognition, especially if you plan on regular surveys of the site. Once you have chosen a name, click Next. This is where you will tie your ground control to the drone images. If you're using only arrow points as ground control, select the arrow points option in the ground control and checkpoint section. If you would like to add additional ground control points and or checkpoints, select the arrow points plus CSV file option. Choose the arrow point survey from the list of available arrow point captures. Next, choose how you would like to process your arrow points. You can choose the propeller corrections network if the surveyed area is within the Propeller Corrections Network. Another common option is to use a known point method, either local or global survey benchmark. For more information about all of the available arrow point processing options, please review our data capture methods video in Propeller U. Click Save. If you're adding a CSV file with additional ground control points and or checkpoints, add your file and assign column headings if needed. Confirm if each point should be used as a ground control point, checkpoint, or excluded from the survey. If necessary, enter any comments about your ground control points, such as describing what they look like if you're not using arrow points, or any details that might assist with accurately marking your ground control points, or any additional information you would like to pass along to our data processing team. Click Next. Next, select if you would like to use a filter for the survey. Filtering is an automated step in processing that will remove certain objects from your 3D model. We recommend getting started without a filter. In that case, choose No when asked if you would like to add a filter to the elevation model, or choosing a less aggressive filter, such as the equipment filter. Choosing a more aggressive filter, such as the structures or everything filter, may cause objects you care about to be inadvertently removed from your survey. If you are unsure about which filter to choose, Read the tooltips for a more detailed description. Or check out our knowledge base for more information. After your survey is done processing, you can request to have your survey refiltered if needed. Next, you will see the list of outputs that will be viewable in the platform and downloadable files that will be available once your survey has been processed. Click Next. The summary step will give you an overview of your upload prior to submitting it for processing. You can use this step as a final check to ensure you're uploading data to the correct site, it's correctly named, and to see the number of credits required for the upload. You will also see a quality assurance selection. The quality assurance slider allows you to choose the level of QA you would like based on your needs. 
QA refers to the manual troubleshooting steps our data processing team takes when there are discrepancies in ground control or when comparing the processed survey to previous survey. You can choose from strict, moderate, or lenient for both ground control errors for this particular survey and consistency when compared to past surveys. You will notice as you move from strict to lenient, the tolerance for ground control errors grows. This is not to say that lenient surveys will be any less accurate. It simply means that when you choose lenient, you're less concerned about any inconsistencies and we will be less likely to email you regarding errors or inconsistencies up to the lenient threshold. This can result in a quicker turnaround time for your process data due to the reduced email communication and troubleshooting required. An example of when you would choose lenient for a survey would be if you just needed an ortho photo of your site progress and are not making any measurements or comparing to previous surveys. For strict surveys, you would like our data processing team to take the time to investigate any errors or inconsistencies that might exist. An example of when you might select strict would be for a survey where you're making comparison measurements to a design file or other sensitive measurements. Once you've chosen your QA settings, click Submit. Step six is where all of your files are uploaded to our servers. Make sure to allow the upload progress bar to reach 100% before closing the tab on your browser. That's it, you've now uploaded your survey data. Our team of GIS specialists will process your data and you will get notified as soon as the data is available in your portal. Normally, this will be available within 24 hours after uploading your data. For smaller surveys and those using the PPK workflow, the turnaround time is often well before 24 hours. And for larger data sets or those using a different workflow, the turnaround time may exceed 24 hours. Once your data is processed, you will receive a confirmation email. Thanks for watching. For more information, please check out the supporting documentation included with this module or visit our knowledge base help.propellerarrow.com.